preparing for takeoff in one of the most advanced aircraft in the Israeli Air Force. Pilots in this F-16 jet fighter have survived fires in the cockpit, flying without fuel and a complete systems failure, and all without leaving the ground. This is the fighter aircraft training center at the Hutsoa Air Force Base just south of Tel Aviv. While the world's most advanced fighter jets line up on the runway outside, Major Eitan Kaplan's team puts Israeli pilots through the toughest emergency conditions. In the F-16 aircraft we have only one engine, so we shut it down in the air, it's really, really dangerous. So uh, some uh, situations like these can be practiced only here, on the ground in the simulator. And the cockpit is 100% the same like uh, the, the actual aircraft, and uh, once you're uh, flying here in the simulator, you actually feel like you're in the air. Data from the simulator is fed back to the instructors as they put the pilots through their paces. Each instructor has a surprise box so they can throw anything they want at the pilots, from a hydraulics failure to a complete systems crash. Afterwards they're debriefed so they can learn from their mistakes. The pilots say it's just like the real thing. Each one of these F-16I planes costs $48 million, so it's little wonder that the Israeli Air Force prefers their pilots to train on a simulator rather than on the real aircraft. From pilots who stay on the ground to soldiers who can fly. Well, almost. The backpack carried by this soldier contains $150,000 worth of the latest in Israeli avionics. It's called the Skylark and it can be assembled and launched within minutes, bringing the ground forces real-time visual and thermal imaging of the terrain beyond the next hill. You can watch the enemy before it comes to you or before you're going to attack it, uh, to plan all sorts of operations, and even it can direct uh, fire to any given target. The airplane goes uh, 1,200 meters in the air, it goes up to 94 kilometers per hour, and the operator on the ground system, like we have here, um, operates uh, the camera, gives the plane commands. The Israeli army hopes that through these devices it can gain the upper hand in a Middle East conflict that is as much about technology as it is about politics. This is Matthew Kalman reporting for the Media Line from the Lachish military base in southern Israel.